welcome to shukumar classes today the topic which i am covering is comparative balance sheet actually as per this chapter overall four different problems we need to work it out two it is based on comparative under this comparative first one is balance sheet and second one is the income statement and in the same manner the second one we have to do it is common size under this common size once again first one it is on balance sheet and second one it is on income statement yes out of these four definitely one question will be there in the final examination so let me explain now how to do this comparative balance sheet okay from the following information prepare comparative balance sheet now this problem is full and full working out of the <coughs> balance sheet only equity and liabilities this is of two different years information is given 2020 and 2021 equity and liabilities the very first one is shareholders fund under that share capital for the first year 5000 and second year 6000 6 lakhs reserves and surplus non current liabilities debentures current liabilities trade payables with various amount is given and the total of the balance sheet is 15 lakh and 17 lakhs and next coming to the assets if you see the assets building machinery goodwill stock and cash the mixing of the various asset is given so this various asset which has been given in mixing form let me separate it is into building and machinery as the fixed asset this fixed asset will appear into the tangible assets the goodwill also appear into fixed asset but it will appear into the intangible asset the stock and cash will appear under the current assets the stock and cash will appear under the current assets yes this is most important now based on this problem we need to work it out the answer what is this comparative just compare it comparing of one year information with the another year information first let me work it out how that comparison arises just you see that now solution comparative balance sheet for the year ended 31st march 2020 and 2021 to work it out this answer we have only one formula how to work it out that formula let me show it for the first one in the same manner we need to continue it is for the remaining one just see that share capital 5 lakh and 6 lakhs now when compared to first year and second year it is increased by rupees 1 lakh yes what we have to do this apply this formula increase or decrease increase or decrease divided by first year value into 100 now you see increase this 1 lakh let me write it here you see increase this 1 lakh and the first year value is 5 lakhs multiplied by 100 yes 1 lakh divided by 5 lakh into 100 we get 20% if it is increased means here also increased symbol plus that's it this is comparative balance sheet next coming to second one reserves and surplus 
Now, first year 6 lakh and second year is 3 lakh 75 thousand. Therefore, decreased. Decreased means minus. How much it is decreased? 2 lakh 25 thousand has been decreased. Now, we have to find the percentage of that one. <coughs> 2 lakh 25 thousand. Let me show it here. You see. 2 lakh 25 thousand divided by first year value. What is the first year value is 6 lakhs into that is multiplied by 100. The percentage I get minus because decrease means minus 37.5 percent. Yes, in the same manner we have to continue it for the remaining things. That's it about the comparative balance sheet. But one information you have to see in the answer is that while working out of the answer, I have shown the extraordinary entries that is headings. It was not provided in the question. If you want, you can see that in the question only building, machinery, goodwill, stock and cash it was not given. But where these items will appear under the appropriate heading has been made here. Non-current assets, under the tangible assets, under the tangible assets building and machinery, under that intangible asset goodwill and under that current asset stock and cash has to be shown. If you write it like this only you will get the full marks otherwise you will not get the full marks. Now for the next one. For remaining things let me not show the calculation only direct answer let me write it out now when compared to now this is one lakh this is not four lakhs this is one lakh one lakh and three lakh twenty five thousand plus two lakh twenty five thousand so two lakh twenty five thousand divided by one lakh means that plus 225 percent next one is plus 1 lakh 1 lakh has been increased 1 lakh divided by 3 lakhs 1 divided by 3 is 33.33 percent when you multiply 15 lakh and 17 lakh means that 2 lakhs has been increased 2 lakhs divided by 15 lakhs into 100 you get 13.33 percent in comparative balance sheet you have the another clue is that even this total also will get the same because same 15 lakh same 17 lakh then you get same 2 lakhs increased then the percentage also same 13.33 percent this is one clue for you people now 5 lakh and 8 lakh means that 3 lakhs plus 3 lakhs next plus 1 lakh then again plus 1 lakh next decrease it is minus um, 350 minus 175 means that remaining 1 lakh 75 thousand and this is minus 1 lakh 25 thousand <coughs> now we have to do the percentage 3 lakhs divided by 5 lakhs 3 divided by 5 it is 60 percent 1 lakh divided by 2 lakhs means that it is 1 lakh and 2 lakh means that 50 percent again 1 divided by 3 you get 33.33 percent 1 lakh 75 thousand divided by 3 lakh 50 thousand means that it is 50 percent 50 percent of this amount and last one is 1 lakh 25 thousand divided by 1 lakh 50 thousand it is 83.33 percent yes that's it about the comparative balance sheet yes thank you very much for watching this video